Without a well-defined project plan, your project is prone to various project management issues, such as project delay, contractual disputes, product failure, scope creep, and cost overrun, and many more. Even though planning is such a critical process of project management, it is ignored many times. Too often, project managers jump right into whatever they are doing without thinking about it beforehand. Such actions lead to inefficiencies, rework, mistakes, needless overtime, and just plain bad project management. Hi, my name is Vijay, and I am the founder of ProjectsMind.com, and today we would learn how the project planning process works. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then don't forget to hit subscribe button below to see our latest videos when they come out. So, before jumping on to how the planning process works, let's first understand what is project planning. Project planning is a discipline addressing how to complete a project in a certain time frame, usually with defined stages and designated resources. One view of project planning divides the activity into several steps like setting measurable objectives, identifying deliverables, planning tasks, and so on. Then these tasks are managed through project management processes. The project planning has basically three components. Input, planning process, and the output. The project planning process needs inputs like project charter and stakeholder list. Once the project charter and stakeholders are ready, the project manager is ready to utilize the same for planning various aspects of the project. With these inputs, the project manager along with his team categorizes the project planning work usually in 10 areas. These are scope management, time management, cost management, quality management, human resources management, communication management, risk management, procurement management, and stakeholder management. The project manager needs to consider scope planning, WBS development, schedule development, budget planning, quality, and risk planning as a part of the planning process. The main purpose of project planning is to guide the execution. The output of the project planning process includes the project integration plan, scope and cost management plan, time and quality management plan, HR and risk management plan, and other plans like quality and communication. However, planning itself does not guarantee success. Planning can minimize the risk but cannot fully eliminate the risk. Project planning is a crucial process that requires a significant amount of time and consumes money. Also, sometimes planning may lead to rigidity if the flexibility factor of changing circumstances is not taken into account. The project has to constantly adapt itself to changes. It can achieve its goal only when plans are properly drawn up and implemented. Any plan needs to be translated into action, or it becomes meaningless. The planning process must be continuous and communicated to the lowest possible workforce level. It makes sure that everyone constantly knows where the project is going and what could be done. It coordinates the efforts of the various functions, tools, processes, and people. People are the essence of planning. Behind every project, there's are the unsung heroes, the project team who kept everything and everyone on track to ensure the achievement of the desired result. And now you know how the planning process works in a project. If you'd like to know more about project planning, visit us at projectsmind.com. At projectsmind.com, we support project people and all the amazing work they do every day. Our objective is to provide access to world-class project management education for anyone, anywhere in the world for free. The concepts you will learn are applicable to all projects, from Fortune 500 firms to all the way to your own home. And don't forget to hit subscribe button below to see our latest videos when they come out. See you later and bye for now.